Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programmes offrent plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Accesi suprememastertv.com barra schedule. हमारे कार्यक्रम पेश किए जाते कई भाषाओं में कृपया देखें suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com/katabanschedule. Nasze programy oferują wiele języków. Prosimy zobaczyć suprememastertv.com ukośnik schedule. The team call to doesn't mean our beloved Lord, but also means that the Lord who loves our world. Ah. You see that? Team is our world, yeah? Call is Lord. Two is love. You see? Our world, the Lord love. Yeah? Love. Or you can say, <laughs> our world love the Lord. It's all the same. Please continue watching to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English with subtitles in Arabic, Olaxis, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Croatian, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Hello and a good day to you, beautiful viewers. My name is William from Ottawa in fascinating Canada. Our people thank you for your divine inspirations. Resplendent Canada is world-renowned for its eco-friendliness and most livable cities. Equally striking is the practice of the core value of a just society. Canada has placed emphasis on equality and inclusiveness. The multitude of languages used, embracing of ethnic and cultural diversity, pluralism of religious beliefs and customs provide vivid testimony to its distinguishing achievement of multiculturalism. As a world leader in peacekeeping, Canada is and has been an advocate for multilateralism making efforts to resolve global issues in a responsible and constructive manner. The country lovingly accepts large numbers of refugees, accounting for over 10% of annual global refugee resettlement, which includes over 40,000 Syrian refugees as of January 2017. We are pleased to introduce Treasured Canada to you, gracious viewers. We wish your days to be filled with happiness and harmony. For over three decades, Supreme Master Ching Ai has illuminated our world with her divine teachings. A fully enlightened master, she imparts the Kuan Yin method of meditation to those desiring to immediately discover the God nature within and to achieve in one lifetime 
eternal liberation from the cycle of transmigration. The Kuan Yin Method has been practiced by all enlightened masters such as Buddha, Confucius, Guru Nanak, Jesus Christ, Lao Tzu, Lord Krishna, Lord Mahavira, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and many more. She emphasizes that if we always remember God, render selfless service to others, and follow the laws of the universe, we will reach our highest potential as humans and truly understand our purpose on Earth. Supreme Master Ching Hai is an extraordinary living example of compassion, regularly sending material and financial assistance, as well as love to refugees, the homeless, natural disaster victims, and others needing relief. Supreme Master Ching Hai is deeply grateful to the beloved God for all the financial help, comfort, and support to the afflicted and needy and or any good cause over the years as a humble vessel for years, compassion and love toward years, precious children. Supreme Master Ching Hai receives support and love from various organizations, media, governments, and individuals, as well as many awards from them, such as the 2006 Guzi Peace Prize, considered the Nobel Peace Prize of the East, the World Spiritual Leadership Award in 1994, the Mavir Award in 2008, February 22nd and October 25th, both proclaimed as the Supreme Master Ching Hai Day, an honorary citizen of the United States, etc., and has been honored throughout the years with numerous other awards and accolades for her outstanding philanthropic and humanitarian deeds. We apologize for not being able to show many other awards and honors for lack of space and time. A true voice for our beautiful animal friends, Supreme Master Ching Hai, promotes the peaceful and loving plant-based diet and envisions with humanity's awakening to the sacredness of all life, a tranquil and glorious all vegan world where animals and people live in blissful harmony.
Our initiatives to spread the vegan trend are diverse and have included the alternative living flyer distribution, international vegan restaurants, Loving Hut, vegan food product companies, vegan fur products, Supreme Master Television, as well as regularly speaking to influential government and media leaders and participating in televised conferences on climate change, etc. Whether we're aware of it or not, her efforts have had an enormous influence on global awareness of the animal-friendly lifestyle and how this benevolent way can bring lasting peace among nations while saving our planet from climate change and disasters. Over the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has traveled worldwide, from the Americas to Africa, from Europe to Oceania, and held hundreds of discourses with the public and her disciples on a variety of spiritual topics. Today, we are blessed to present an insightful video conference entitled, From the Original Universe to Our World, True Love Never Changes, Part 9 of 10 on Between Master and Disciples, given in English on May the 29th, 2014, Los Angeles, California, USA. Hi, Master. Hi. Master, not only are you flying high spiritually, but recently we saw some cool video footage of you flying an airplane. Master, oh. could, you, could you please tell us more about that? Not recently, this was many years ago. <laughs> yeah, you don't see much because uh, I think one of your brother worried that the people see the number of the plane and know where I, where I am, but I will not there anymore, so you can ask him. How much I fly, maybe you can see some more footage of the flying. I fly balloon, I fly helicopter, I fly fixed wing airplanes. Wow. And just, uh, at that time, it just for, I just thought I need to learn something in case I have to, but I don't really need them. If necessary, I go commercial ones. Uh, it was just for learning to fly, because I thought maybe I could use it, you know, in emergency, I take myself away, take my dogs away quick. Oh. In case I have to go quick. Oh. For some security reason. But then I learned that your physical security is just too much trouble to take care. <laughs> you have to have blood tests, you have to have your blood test every year if you get older. Or every half year even, and you have your license to renew, you have to have police record of non-criminal activities. You have to keep constant flying to earn more hours. Every pilot have their hours, you see, to certain how many hundred hours you have. That is how you are certified as a seasoned pilot or not. They all keep their hours. If they talk about a pilot, they say, oh, he has 500 hours to fly behind him, for example, like that. And you know how long he has been flying. Even if you don't uh, want to fly, if you want to keep the flying license, the pilot license, you still need to fly certain hours, you know, per month, just to keep it. And you have to keep fit. Oh, yes, The more master. seasoned pilot, the more experience, the safer you fly. Afterward, I thought I didn't have enough time to keep up with it. So I don't fly anymore. I'm flying inside. <laughs> yes, master. Like, Flying to all you, not EU. Instead of flying around EU, I fly around all you. <laughs> <laughs> fly inside at the speed faster than light. Master, when flying the airplane and hot air balloon, were you enjoying the experience, even though it must be so mundane compared to heavenly experiences? No, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. I wish I had more time. Wow. It's fun. Very fun. You're so cool, Master. <laughs> you have to concentrate a lot. And you have to constantly fly, otherwise you, you will lose ability or so you forget. And so cool, but it's, to fly is not like driving. You don't have a map for flying, okay? You have to rely on all your concentration of keen observation 
a way of flying of the landscape so that you can find your way back. If you fly a big commercial airline, then you have computers, you have the uh, the control tower to tell you where you go east, west, you know, how many degrees and you have uh, when you land and which airport and all that. But if you fly just a private jet, a private airplane, a private helicopter, you have to rely on landscape yeah. from above. It looks different from, from below. And nobody up there to give you direction, no police to, <laughs> to, to help you. And it's, it's not always uh, 100% safe. Because if, if you fly sometimes, you don't see the, the very thin electric line and all that, the electric wire and all that, you, you might bump into trouble. Or if the engine fell in the sky, you don't have enough time to react. You don't have enough time to, to fly out with your, with your jumping uh, parachute. It goes so fast. One time I flew a helicopter and the engine fell. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I was the main pilot because the other one is a co-pilot. He, he's a seasoned pilot. Of course, he taught me also. But I was in the pilot seat and he's a co-pilot. The pilot seat is always on the left side. He's a main pilot. The co-pilot is on the right side. So if you see somebody sit on the left side, you know it's a main pilot. And and I didn't have experience with this. And the co-pilot, the soccer co-pilot, he's a teacher. He had to reach over me, almost pressure me to, to to try to control the airplane. But then we just had to land it quickly on just a field somewhere. Luckily, land okay. <laughs> no hurt. Yes. But it was very frightful experience. Even the teacher, he became greedy. Oh my goodness. I have never seen him so frightened like that. <gasps> but that was a good helicopter. Most helicopters have uh, only one engine. That one was from Russia. All Russia will have two engines. So if one engine failed, you still have one to fly. Wow. Oh, thank so God. with one engine, with one engine, the, the teacher managed to land together with me. And but we land on the hill. It was slanting hill like this. Normally you have to land on the flat. Land on the hill is it's perilous, you know, almost not safe at all. You could die because the helicopter is loose balance. But luckily, he's a seasoned pilot. He's a good teacher. He managed to land just like this, you know, on the hill. It's not very hilly, but it's just the, the field that is not straight. You see, sometimes people plant the vegetable on the hill, and luckily there's no vegetable at that time. It's not the season. And he managed to land. Wow. And then afterwards, we just went like... Wow. The next day, I flew again. Oh, Master. <laughs> you weren't scared, because Master? Scared, but the, 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 the pilot told me the only way to wash away the fear is that you fly again, and then, oh. <laughs> then you have no problem, and then you will forget the bad experience. Otherwise, you stay home, you could think of the fear, and then you will never fly again. It's no help to you. Next time we flew again, we flew again. <laughs> no problem. Oh, you're so courageous, and I'd be so scared, Master, to fly again. I was scared. What do you think? <laughs> I was so scared. But it's okay. you have to fly, it's okay. We flew. <laughs> yeah. But I told him, okay, just today, okay. Next day I fly the other airplane. I'm going to fix room. I take a break from that. <laughs> oh, wow. No problem, it's okay. I'm still here. <laughs> so flying is not all that cool as you think. You, you need to really be lucky also and be seasoned, yeah? Be, be experienced. Oh, I see, Master. Now, now that you hear many airplanes have trouble, yeah? Mm. Yes, Master. Almost like every week, every two weeks, something, some airplane have trouble. Or disappear or crash, you know, helicopter and even military, strong helicopters or private jet or big airplane, you see? Flying has its risk, but life is risky. Even when you drive, you risk also. Hmm? That's like true. last time we drive, we drive back to the car and, and the wheel just explodes on the highway and zig, zig, zag, zag, almost. So <laughs> I almost died with three dogs. I mean, oh. see here, you know, everything. Life is risky, and it's always deadly, you know that? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> and I'm always dead. <laughs> Life is dangerous. 
Okay, either you die on the airplane, or you die with the helicopter, or you die with the car, or you die in the bed, or you die somewhere. <laughs> it's always deadly. Life is dangerous. I tell you, the most dangerous thing in your life is your life. <laughs> yeah? So we end up dead. Ah, true, Master. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm not interested in flying airplane or anything. Not much interested. I use him as the physical mean when I need it. Not much in this world I'm interested anymore. I just feel like everything far away from me. I don't really try to run away from them. I will just fall apart, far away from me. All the interests about everything. Just kind of falling out, falling out, falling out from my mind, from my body, falling away. Yeah? Go. <laughs> Go away. Yes. yes, Master. Okay, okay. What next? Um, well, going back to the original universe, you previously spoke about a vortex at the center of the OU that radiates love in all directions to keep all the beings there blissful, happy, and contented. Yes. Does the shadow universe have anything like the OU's vortex? Yes, yes, yes. It has. It's just less oh. powerful. Just a, a copy one, but it's less powerful. It, if we don't have that, you and I don't exist. Wow. Nothing exists. The sun, moon, star don't exist. Earth doesn't exist. Life doesn't exist. Wow. Nothing can be created. Nothing can be sustained. I told you it's a copy. A copy of the original universe. You have to have it. But, Master, if the shadow universe has a vortex, how come beings here are not happy? Yes, um, because... Even though they have a vortex in the middle of the shadow universe, supposed to make all beings happy. But number one, it's not as powerful as in OU. But nevertheless, it's also powerful enough to uplift all beings and enlighten them. And the receiver of this connection to the vortex is in the middle of our forehead, as I show you at the time of initiation, at the third eye. The vortex also makes people happy and help in all aspects, but can only be connected through a human pole, which you call the master. That's why after connecting through a master or an official initiation, the initiate life are smoother, happier, and smarter, etc. But most humans and beings on this planet or in the physical world are not aware of this connecting point, which is built in, in their being in the forehead, yes. in the ethereal being, but it is on the forehead, counting from the physical body. Most beings are not aware of it. Many are not aware of it. So they do not feel that fulfilled in their life, and they don't feel that enlightened, for example. Yeah. And, of course, the Maya king and his subordinates use all their might to prevent beings from knowing this. Hence, the world is full of misery, and the beings here are generally helpless and not very happy and not very enlightened. Yes, Master. Master, is everything in the shadow universe modeled after something existing in the original universe, like the smallest things like atoms to DNA to the largest things like planets and galaxies? Yes, but uh, we also have this negative trace. The original universe doesn't have negative traces. It's completely pure. We are mix, mixling of negative and positive. Wow. That's, yes. why, that's why we are not so nice. Not all of us are nice. That's why we have war. And that's why we have competition between countries, between companies, between people. And sometimes it's fatal. You know? The competition, the jealousy become deadly game. And that is when it's bad. Yes, Master. And then from this bad karma create more bad karma, you know, and suck in other innocent bystanders in, and then they will also have to share the karma if they involve in it. You know, to go in more and more like that. That's why the shadow universe spread so quick. Oh. So we have to balance it with the original universe, the positive power. Mm. Otherwise the balance will not go well, and then everything collapses. The shadow universe will collapse. All the people being in this will suffer too much, especially the physical one. Yeah? Oh, wow. 
Oh, yes, Master. Thank you, Master. Hi, Master. Hi. Very yes. happy to see you again. Yeah, me too. Master, what are the differences between the souls in the original universe and the souls in the shadow universe? Uh, the soul in the original universe are pure, uh -huh. original, original, uncontaminated. But many of the so-called soul in the uh, shadow universe are contaminated and less lesser quality. Okay, not all souls are equal. Yes, I have explained a thing, similar thing in the Hungarian retreat. Yes, Master. The quality is a little different. The pure soul in the original universe will never think of doing anything, never tempted. Oh. And over there also no chance to do it. But the soul in the uh, shadow universe, although have some spark, you know, yes, some, master. some quality of the original, it has been tainted, so oh. contaminated, so easy to fall, easy to to be tempted, easy to fall into traps and temptation, and then suffer. That's why the master has to come live up to a different masters to come to help them, to guide them into the right direction, so they don't suffer too much. I see. Thank you, Master. You're welcome, Master. Uh, master, even though the beings in the original universe are very connected, they still mm -hmm. seem to have individuality. Mm -hmm. Is there a level where our beings merge into the one? If so, could Tinko 2 exist as both the merged one and at the same time be here with us on Earth? Wow, you really know <laughs> Good question, good question, good question. No, 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 it won't be like that. It won't be like that. They are one with the universe. They are one with each other. They are one with Team Kortu, but they are individual. Okay? Oh, wow. Even in our universe, in our Earth, look, you are one with me. Okay, yes, we are looking in the same direction, we are doing the same goal, we are serving the same purpose, yes? Yes, Master. More or less, we are doing the same thing, we, I say anything, you do it, you know, you think the same, almost the same as I do, okay? You live almost the same life, more or less, yeah? But you are individual, you see? You also have your own thinking, your own creativity. But in the context of goodness, you see what I mean? Yes, Master. You are you are with me, but you are alone. I don't interfere with your thinking. I don't interfere with your emotion. I don't interfere with your creativity. You see that? You're free still. Yeah. But everybody thinks you're one with me. Everybody thinks that you're all behind me. You support me. You, you are me. You know? You are my extension. But you are individual still. Yes? Yes, Master. Yeah. You never feel that you lost your identity just because you follow me or you, you believe me or you become my disciple. Huh? Or you are in a group, in a group that's working in the same ideal. You see? Even then, you are still you. You still you. Huh? Do you feel? You feel one with them, you know, because you are very united, yeah? yes? As master. if a whole group is one. But you are you, huh? That is like that. It's a copy of the universe up there, it's like that. But of course, they're even more free. Yeah, because they're more enlightened, they're more pure. Okay, got it? Wow. Yes, yes, Master. Thank you very much. Good example, right? Yes, Master. Yeah, thank, you. thank you, Master. Welcome. Master, when you first decided to leave the, realm, the highest realms to go to the shadow universe, did others try to persuade you not to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. They don't like it. They don't like it. They still don't like it. Oh. Not only the Maya doesn't like me to come down, the councils, the beings, and uh, oh, you don't want me to come. Oh. They, they just say that but they're not trying to control and stop or something. It's just out of love, you know? Even now, sometimes they told me, turn away from human. They're not worthy. They just make it up for more. Even now, now and then, they told me that. Turn away from human. I can't do it yet. <laughs> Master, thank you for not turning away from humans. You're welcome. Uh, Master, even within this world, it's hard for us to imagine what it, life is like for the less fortunate. 
And so master, how are you able to sympathize with even the lowest of the shadow creation and humble yourself that much to come down here? Just love, just love them. If you love your child, you sacrifice him for them. Yeah, you work hard day and night just for their comfort. If you love your friends, sometimes you sacrifice your blood or your one of your kidney, you give it to them. That's normal, okay? Even in the physical universe, for love, you do many things, yeah? You love your wife, you work day and night to give her pleasure, comfort. What he needs, you love your children, you work double job, etc., to help them, to give them, you know, what they need to mature. Mm? Yes, Master. Even in physical universe, yes. A love is like that. How would it be less if it's a love from up there? Okay? <laughs> yes, Master. And, and the reason the council or anyone told me to turn away from human it was also because they love me. Yes, because Master. Because of love. Yeah. Of course, they love human too, but they think it's so difficult to teach them. So difficult. <laughs> Yeah, just because they love me, they don't mean bad to him or anything. Okay, huh? Yes, master. It's because even though they are the citizen of, of you, they are not me. They don't feel what I feel. For for humans, yeah, they don't feel what I feel. They are very comfortable here. Yeah. They don't feel the suffering of anyone, except they feel my suffering because they're more connected with me uh. than to shadow but material universe, especially this world. For example. You now in this human world, okay? Yes. And your friends are going to some animal jungle to uh, risk his life to take care of the animals, yeah? Okay? Well, and, and day after day, he come home with bruises and scratch and sometimes lost his legs, his arms, and, you know, sick from animals, or almost lost life. Of course, you tell your friend, forget the animals, you stay home with me. Get well and don't go back there again. No? Wouldn't you do that? Yes, Master. Yes. Okay. Not because you hate animals. Not because you don't love animals. What you don't love with such intensity like your friend does. You see what I mean? Yes, Master. Yeah. We all, we all love animals, but there are some humans who sacrifice their life to, to rescue animals. You know that? Mm. Hmm? Yes, Master. Yes. They love the animal. More intense, their mission is like that, their, their heart is like that. They are more connected with the animals than many of us are. Therefore, they, the more they are connected, the more they work with the animals, the more they love them. The more they love them, the more they sacrifice and just go through anything for them. And whereas we also love animals, but we don't contact so closely with those animals. So when we watch on TV, we say, oh, sorry for the world, sorry for them. The, 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 the shark, but we don't go out there bearing wind and typhoon, you know, and rickety boats or ship, you know, just to try to make a statement to save these animals. Understand? Those yes, people please. who are very brave, you know, those people who work for the animal welfare, yeah? Uh, I know too many, just don't mention, for example, the, the one who saved the whales or the people of uh, Greenpeace, they want to protect the world from danger, yes, from chemical danger, from nuclear energy, or whatever, that they think dangerous for the world. And therefore, they endanger themselves. You know, they get jailed, they get hurt, they get killed sometimes. And the people like Sea Shepherd, they do anything to, to protect the, the, the sea yes, animals. Yes, master. We, we also love the sea animals, but we love indirectly. We don't go out there and bear our danger for them. Yes, Master. Okay. But whenever I see them, even I see the sea shepherd people, if they wear this and on the street, I, I give whatever I have in my pocket. <laughs> and they, sometimes they don't know me. I say, never mind, it's, it's for the, the animals, not for you. Just accept it. He said, I don't have paper to write notes. I said, don't write anything. I know, I trust you. You go home and write it. <laughs> Anonymous donation. It's not much anyway. It's just what I have in my pocket. Thing like that, you know? Yes, Master. And of course, we as an organization before, we, we donate to many uh, beneficial uh, organizations, yeah? Yes, Master. Uh, but we don't go out to do that. Okay, now you understand. Okay, different <laughs> position, different feeling, yes. <laughs> Uh, the Tim Kong Tu doesn't just mean all world beloved Lord, but also means that the Lord who loves all world. Ah. You see that? Tim is all world, yeah? Kuo is Lord. Tu is love. You see? All world, the Lord love. 
Yeah? Yes. Or you can say, oh, we we'll love the Lord. It's all the same. <laughs> this is a very tricky word, so you can translate both ways. Yeah? You see, oh, we we'll love Lord, just like I, you I love. You see? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we we'll Lord love. Uh, just like you I love. Yeah? <laughs> uh. But of course, if Tim could to love all the world, then of course, all the world also love. Tim could to. That is natural. So no need to, to say, this is explained this way or the other way. But if you see the world clearly, just like, just say, hi, O2, I love you, right? Yes, Master. Hi, go first. You see that? You, I love. Yeah? So, Tim, go to. All world, the Lord, love. Uh -huh. You know I me? Mean? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yeah. And if that Lord loves all world, then naturally the world, all world also love the Lord. It's yes, a natural, Master. you know, correspond. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gentle viewers, we appreciate your company on today's episode entitled From the Original Universe to Our World. True love never changes. Part 9 of 10 on Between Master and Disciples. Coming up next is from Buddhism's sacred scripture, the Sutra of the Lotus of the Wonderful Dharma. Chapter 3, Part 8 of 8 on Words of Wisdom, right after noteworthy news. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for more positive programming. May you walk in faith and enjoy all great gifts from God that come your way. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.